All right, so I do something on purpose. I make something look extra tricky, but it's only because I know you can handle it. I'm gonna point at the camera, but I know you're listening. Because now that you know how to subtract fractions, you should be able to handle this because all this is is a minus sign. Or, you know, it's just the same process as added. Now, before we do this whole thing with three terms, I'm gonna refresh you on something that should make sense here. If I said three plus four plus five, you would say, well, that's easy. I can, I can do seven plus five, and then just call it 12. Or I could have gone nine, three plus nine, and call it 12. It didn't really matter what I did first. Now, there are videos out there that say, you have to work from the left to the right and all that stuff. And, and they don't give you a reason. They just say, you just have to do it. It's the rule. And I hate that because there's no magical rules. I say magical. What it means is there's a reason behind it that maybe we're not going to explain. But this one I'm going to explain. Okay? When you have a minus sign, okay? watch this. 5 minus 2. What is, what's happening there is I'm taking number 5 and I'm combining it with a negative 2. Okay? So I'm really adding. Okay? But I'm adding a negative. And when you add a negative, instead of going up, you go the opposite way. If I add a positive, I go up. If I add a negative, I go the reverse way. Okay? Why do we care? Because there is no magical order for how you do these things. I don't care what you've heard. If you understand, this is why my kids in my class are going to be on top of the, top of the world. This is really adding a negative. And this is really adding a negative. If you understand that, you're already ahead of 90% of the people in your age group, okay? Okay, now I'm just talking a bit. Anyway, let's look at this here. So it doesn't matter what we do. We can do this, we can do this, or we can do this. This A, B, and C. Doesn't matter what we process first, okay? I like to write math the way I read books. So I'm going to start on the left side. and start with this. 10 and 9 elevenths plus negative 3 and 2 sevenths. We'll deal with this guy later. Okay? Let's solve this first, just like we solved those first two numbers in the video. Okay? Let's solve this first. I'm going to just, uh, let's see, gosh, why did I pick such a silly number? 110, so 119 over 11 there, plus a negative, this is going to be 20, 23 over 7. Simple. So we brought the plus sign down, we brought the negative sign down, and all we did was just Deal with that, okay? That became this. No big deal. Don't, don't let these signs scare you. He's okay. All right. So, next thing. We want same denominator. Well, 7 and 11, why don't we do a shortcut? We'll just times 7 and 11. And that's 77, okay? So, what that means is I'm going to have to times this side by 7. And I'm going to side this side by 11. Okay? Let's see how this shakes out. So it'll be 700, I shouldn't have done this, 700, 840 minus 7, 700, 833, okay. So 833 over 77, plus, so that's what this is, plus sign is still there, nothing happened to it, the minus sign is still there, nothing happened to it, and then this here is 230, 253, 253 over 77, okay. Now, Maybe you'll have to hit the pause button and go back, and that's okay. That's why these videos are awesome. But really, what we have is, just like when I said we had 5 added to a negative 2, if we went down, well, we have this number added to a negative number. So instead of going up, we're going to go down. Well, what is going down like? Down is the same as subtracting, really. So instead of writing this, we are allowed to just write that, because that's really what's happening. So 833 minus 253 is 600, oh gosh, 600, 580. And our denominator, we're still talking about out of 77. So there you go. You know what, I'm going to change this over here to be a little bit. Otherwise, I'm going to be out of my mind. OK, so we found out that this together here, 580 over 77. Piece of cake. Well, we still have this guy. This plus line didn't vanish, it's still there. And this thing here didn't vanish, it's still there. So plus and minus 1 and 10, 11. Notice, 
At no time do any of these signs just poof, vanish into thin air. They're always there, unless we perform the operation to remove it. Okay, what is this? One and 10 eleventh is the same as uh, 21 over 11. Okay, one and 10 elevenths is the same as 21 over 11. Okay, that's good. So what? Okay, why don't I replace that? 21 over 11, okay. But I need to make this, I can't do anything here, 77 11. I need to make this a 77 also. So already I know, I have to multiply both by seven. So I'll change the value of this fraction without changing its look, and I'm gonna get 147 over 77. So now instead of writing this fraction, I can write this fraction. Same value, different look, cheeseburger in a blender, 147 over 77. Great, now we have denominators that are the same. We can perform the rest of the function here. Okay, so using our heads again. If, we're, if we add something positive, we go up. But if we add a minus, we go down, right? Five plus negative two means we go down to the number three, positive three. If we added a plus two, we would go up to positive seven, okay? And then five would be in the middle there. Add two, subtract two. Okay? Kind of a big concept, we'll go over that later in number lines. But anyway, I have them the same here. So if we're adding a negative, that's the same as subtracting, okay? Now all we're doing is subtracting the numerator from the numerator. So what are we gonna get there? 440, 433, 433 in the numerator. This is out of 77, this is out of 77, therefore this is also out of 77. There's your answer. Okay, so this big ugly thing here, one, two, three mixed numbers, subtraction, all this crazy stuff, all came down to here. Can it be reduced further? Maybe, I'm not gonna do it in this video. But all we did was repeat the same steps. What are they again? Get rid of the mixed numbers, make sure your denominators are the same. Think about what adding a negative is. Okay, so that might be new. But the other thing too, this is probably the biggest thing I want you to take from this video, is that it doesn't matter what order you do, it doesn't matter if you combine these things together and then these, or these and then these. As long as you understand that you're, you have a plus, a plus sign in here, think of it like combining, okay? Day one, combined with day two, combined with day three, okay? You're adding a negative, okay? Because really, adding a negative is the same as just writing a negative. So we write it like this, then we can not have to worry about the order, okay? A lot of videos won't talk about that, but this is a big stuff.